and welcome to my channel. My name is Emily and this is my first ever YouTube video and we are going to be doing a Shein haul. This is a total of 37 items and it did take about a week and a half to get to me so make sure that you hit that subscribe button for any future videos that I have coming up for you guys and let's get into the video. This first item I picked up is like a resin pearl plate and I got it for you guys to show you gems. So the first gem I picked up are these little silver rhinestone bows and they are absolutely adorable. They are the perfect size to put on the nail, obviously. The next one I have are these little rhinestones with silver circular stones. Uh, and then there is little pearls on them as well. And the back does curve for your nail. The next one I have is this little five pack of roses, and I was not really a fan of these. They were still kind of squishy. I also picked up these little adorable bunny rabbits, and they are super duper cute, and I can't wait to use them in a nail video. The next thing I picked up are these champagne rhinestones, and I loved that this came with an assortment of different shapes and sizes. There was also a little staple in there, so I took that out. And I do flip over one of the larger stones to show you guys. Super sparkly, super pretty. Similarly, I have this pack of red ones. These ones were a little bit larger. There weren't so many small ones as the champagne ones. And here I am showing you an elongated teardrop one. I thought this little pack was cute. This is a pack of random assortment of things. It had caviar beads, pointed backs, and some cute rhinestones. These rhinestones were not flat backs, which is fine by me, but that is something that you may want to note for yourself. This next one is a little pack of iridescent and pearlescent flowers along with some pearl caviar beads. The next thing I picked up was this mixed bag of football shaped rhinestones and I just loved the assortment of colors. I plan on using this for just judging up some nail looks. The next thing I picked up was this 10-piece hearts, and these were the perfect size for not only acrylic or built nails, but also just natural nails. This would look super cute on as well, because they're super tiny. The next thing I picked up is this 10-piece of nail foils, and I have already used the black ones for a look. And I'm super excited to share that with you guys. So far, these are awesome quality. I think I only paid $2 for this. So I will definitely be picking up more foils from Shein in the future. The next thing I picked up was this 12-pack of Chunky Glitter. It's pretty self-explanatory. I will be using these for encapsulating and just adding to acrylic and things like that. And I just love the assortment of colors. Following that, we have a similar pack, but this is of different colored caviar beads. There is supposed to be 12, but mine only came with 11, which is fine. These will look super cute as a full nail or just enhancing a rhinestone look. The next thing I picked up was this little pack of six glitters for some Valentine's Day sets that I have coming up for you guys. 
There was an assortment of different sized hearts along with different colored hearts and cutout hearts. And then there were also a few butterflies in there, which I will show you guys up close. The next thing I picked up was this pack of different shapes and sizes of glitter. I absolutely loved this and I do pull one out for you guys to show you the size. These ones uh, were little orange stars and they are super chunky, super cute, but not so chunky that they would be poking outside the nail if you try to encapsulate them. And here is a silver six-sided chunkier glitter. And then the main reason I picked up this set was for the entire row of sugar glitters at the bottom. I absolutely love the look of sugar nails. I really liked this pack. The next thing I got was this 10 sheets of nail sticker glue. And it's specifically made for press-ons, but I am intending to use it instead of tacky, whatever that tacky blue stuff is that people put on the nail stands. Um, I just think that's super messy, so I'm going to attempt to use these. And speaking of nail stands, I did pick up this one. I'm sure you guys have seen it all over YouTube. And it is just a little stand and you pick out the little gold pieces and they stick to the little plate on the bottom so that you are able to put either tips or full cover nails and stick it into your lamp with ease. And here I am just showing you all of the little pieces going onto the magnets. I really liked this. The next thing I picked up was this needle drill bit and I think it was like a dollar fifty and that is super affordable. I know my nail supply store near me would charge a lot more for this and I got this for more precise cuticle work and I did order another one to specifically use for the little gold rings that you punch holes through the nails and then you can hang charms from. And with that, I also got this little 10-piece holder, 10-piece drill bit holder. And I have one that holds like 40-something, but it's super bulky. And I wanted one that I could just put my favorite bits on my desk. So here I am just testing it out. And I do give it a little shake, and it's in there very good. I can't speak for throwing it on the floor, but... For my purpose it's perfect i also picked up this little crown and i'm sure you guys have seen it it is super cute and i'm going to be using it for alcohol for poly gel and line cleaning and things like that i also picked up this three pack of liner brushes and oh my goodness these seem like such good quality right off the bat I love how heavy the handle was, and it just seems like very good quality. The next thing I picked up was this three pack of skinnier brushes, and the bristles on them were a bit longer. These also came with different sizes numbered on them, along with Kalinsky brush written next to it which I'm, of course, not sure if that is true. I will just be basing my reviews off of the actual quality of the brush. I also missed a rhinestone, but I, of course, had to show it to you guys because it, because it is absolutely beautiful, and I just love all of the rhinestones that I received from Shein today. The next thing I got was this lavender heart and its sole purpose is to smash those little metal pieces to shape 
to get the correct shape for your nail. And I am excited to use that as well. The next thing I got was this seven piece of brushes and I intend to use this for poly gel and line work. They are super cute and sparkly. Following that, I did pick up this pink rhinestone picker and it came very neatly packaged. Here I am just pulling it out. It came with a little rubber stopper. I really loved that the little crystals inside moved as well. And I also love that these kinds of pens, you can also take off the tip and replace the wax whenever it gets too old or yucky. The next thing I got was this five pack of clear nail clips. And I got clear so that when I clip down poly gel or builder gel, that it can go into the lamp and not have a problem curing. This will also be great for acrylic lazy girl, so you can continue on to the next nail. The next thing I picked up was this beautiful cotton candy pink nail tip cutter, and you guys, it's already working so much better than the $10 one I got off of Amazon. The only issue I had was that it was a little bit difficult to get the super C curved nail in initially, um, but once I did get it in, it did cut perfectly fine. And then after this cut, I try to make a more straight cut and you guys will see that it does just beautifully. The next thing I picked up was just this 50 pack of swatch sticks. I have so many of these, so I decided to give these Shein ones a go. They are a little bit shorter than the ones I've received off Amazon in the past, but that's okay. And this next thing is my favorite thing. It is a French tip cutter for acrylic. I have such a difficult time building it. The first one is a low cut or a deep cut French tip, and then there is a deep V cut French tip, a short V, or a just a V cut. Then there is a super shallow moon cut. Then there is just a regular French tip moon cut. The next thing I picked up was this 120 piece stiletto nail tip box. And these were super flimsy, but they are a very good length and I am sure I will be able to work with them and they will do perfectly fine. Super long and super pretty. The next thing I picked up was these little round swatch sticks and I plan to use these on the tops of my dip powders and my acrylics. It came with five sheets of 24 for a total of 120 pieces. And it also came with a sheet of 120 stickers, if not more. 
if you guys are interested in using them for their intended purpose of gel. This next thing I picked up is a little kit for if you make press on nails, which is exactly what I'm going to use it for. If I do decide to make press on nails, I will store them on here so that I can wear them. It came with a little gummy tape and then a pack of 40 clear plastic little and I thought they were a very good size. The next thing I picked up was just this two pack of brushes. I use this with alcohol and to really scrub down my brushes before I do nail art or I apply my dehydrator and primer. The next thing I got was this 630 pack of lint-free nail wipes. And I do compare these to my OPI nail wipes, and they are a bit thinner. As you guys will be able to tell, my OPI wipes actually crease, whereas the Shein ones just don't crease. And I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not. I assume the OPI will be able to absorb more alcohol, but I will be testing both of those out. And for my last item I got was this dentist sheets for absorbing monomer. Thank you guys so much for watching my video and I hope you subscribe and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye!